and as the world continues to celebrate International Women's Day, Action Aid Nigeria and Global Peace Development has called on government critical stakeholders to promote girl education, ensure equal job opportunities and increase access to finances and resources to improve the livelihood of women in the society. Deputy Country Director Action Aid Nigeria, Shuwaiba Mohammed said women face life challenges with poor access to finance. Girls are more likely to drop out of school, mostly because of early marriage. Sometimes they have to look for food for the house, but we understand there's still la uh, lack of access to quality education, even if they go to school, and other opportunities for social economic advancement. We are calling for action, for the review of social and economic policies to reflect the current realities of most vulnerable and underserved communities, especially in these rural areas. The public and private sectors must partner and come up with lasting solutions to address gender gap. Gender gap in socioeconomic empowerment requires comprehensive strategies that address systemic inequalities. We need to promote women's rights and empower women economically, socially, and politically. We need, this includes implementing policies and programs that promote girls' education, ensure equal employment opportunities, provide access to financial services and resources. Also, the Executive Director, Global Peace Development, Ebruke Eshike, says women play a crucial role in society in frontline defense against radicalization and violent extremism. Women play a critical role in society and are often the first line of defense against radicalization and violent extremism. By empowering women and investing in their education, skills and leadership, and addressing cultural norms, cultural and social norms, we can accelerate progress towards preventing and countering violent extremism. Women bring unique perspectives, insights, and skills to the table that can help us address the root causes of violent extremism and build a more resilient society. Research has shown that when women are included in decision-making process and have access to resources and opportunities, they are more likely to contribute to peace and security in their communities. The lament the poverty inequality that only 26.40% of women are involved in income-generating activities, while about 73.60% we're not women to continue resilience let's continue building our resilience in terms of um, breaking down the stereotypes and shattering our glass ceilings to ensure we include ourselves in spaces up to nine million nine million people in kaduna generally and 49.9 are women and in that 49.9 26.7 so 29.7 are women only three out of ten will be engaged are likely to be engaged in economic activities so that is actually a very very low number and there is still um, girls that are out of school due to early marriage due to lack of opportunities and lack of access to quality education there are still other women that are excluded in public and political um, in public decision making spaces my call with the current situation in Shikum will mean proactive strategy to address this continued and protracted abduction and kidnapping. The people need to trust government, government also need to trust them and make sure there's more structures that can address security challenge. But the first thing is we must begin to remove every form of cultural norms that inhibit women growth and, grow and development. And some of the participants who participated at the engagement said women need to be empowered with skills in society to build a strong and better society. Violence against women and girls, so they are training us how to overcome and any difficulty that we enter. So they are trying to tell us that we should what? how to take business. 